Hi everyone! Welcome to our virtual classroom. This is Sir Manny and today ang pag-uusapan natin is division of fractions. In my last video, I explained multiplication of fraction. So I advise children na panoorin muna natin yung multiplication of fraction before we proceed with the division of fraction. But if you want to focus on the division now, although matatakal pa rin naman natin yung multiplication of fraction, mas detailed lang yung explanation ko doon sa nakaraang video. Okay? Now, division of fractions is... Sobrang simple lang niya. Wala siyang pinagkaiba sa multiplication of fraction. Meron lang tayong in na step. Okay? But definitely, everything is just the same. Now, we have four main rules. Okay? One, two, three, and four. Kung mamamaster niyo tong apat na to, definitely you can divide fractions. Now, the first rule is, Rename the fraction if needed. Kung mapapansin nyo, sinulat ko dyan if needed. Because itong, itong rule na to, hindi siya nagagamit all the time. Ginagamit lang natin siya when, uh, when we need to rename yung, yung isa sa mga given ng fraction. Let's say for instance, sa division of fractions kasi, or kahit sa anong operation, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-proceed sa... Um, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-proceed na hindi natin kinoconvert yung whole number o kaya naman yung ating mixed number into simply, um, simple fraction. Pag sinabi natin mga simple fraction, pwedeng 1 fourth, 4 over 1, 1 half, 2 over 1. These are example of simple fraction. Ngayon, if you encounter whole numbers such as this, kailangan mo muna siyang i-convert into simple fraction. So, paano natin i-convert yung whole number na to into simple fraction? It's very simple. So, ang gagawin lang natin is, ilalagay natin siya sa taas at lalagyan natin siya ng denominator na 1. So, yung 2 naging 2 over 1 na. 2, 2 and 2 over 1 are the same. Pareho lang yan. They are equal. Okay? Ganun lang natin siyang nire-rename. So, yung 2 naging 2 over 1. If you encounter 4, Pag ginawa mo siyang fraction, magiging 4 over 1 siya. So, ganyan natin inire-rename yung isang fraction. Meanwhile, when you encounter um, mixed fraction such as this, 2 and 1 fourth, kailangan mo siyang gawing simple fraction. Paano mo siya gagawing simple fraction? You simply multiply the denominator and the whole number and then the answer will be added to the numerator. So, 4 times 2, that's 8. Plus 1, that is 9. So, ilalagay lang natin 9 over 4. So, that is simple fraction na. 2 and 1 fourth is equal to 9 fourth. So, equal lang yung dalawang yan. Okay? Kinonvert lang, lang natin siya into a simple fraction. So, that's how we rename fraction kapag naka-encounter tayo ng whole number and naka-encounter tayo ng mixed number. Kailangan muna natin silang i-convert into um, simple fractions. Now, for the number 2, get the reciprocal of the divisor. Ito, kailangan natin gawing ito lahat all the time. Let's say, meron tayong given dito na 1 half divided by 1 fourth. So, nasa ng divisor dyan? So, this is your dividend, this is your divisor. Ang divisor natin yung nasa right palagi. Okay? Yun yung um, gusto natin ipang divide dun sa number. Yun yung tinatawag natin na divisor. Now, Kapag sinabi natin, get the reciprocal of the divisor, we simply flip it. Okay? Yung 1, ilalagay natin sa baba. And then yung 4, itataas natin sa, um, ilalagay natin sa taas. So, magbabaliktad yung numerator and denominator. So, you flip them. Okay? So, ang magiging result niyan, magiging ganito ang itsura niya, 1 half. Hindi natin gagalawin yung 1 half kasi hindi naman siya divisor. At ang gagalawin lang natin is yung 1 over 4. So, magiging 4 over 1. Ganun na siya. Okay? And then, proceed to multiplication of fraction. Ayan. Magaano na tayo dito. Magkakaroon na tayo ng multiplication. So, kahit division of fraction tayo, hindi talaga tayo magdi-divide. After mong kunin yung reciprocal class, ang magiging operation mo nun is multiplication of fraction. Babalik tayo doon. So, ang magiging... Um, ang magiging kalalabasan niya is, you keep yung 1 half, hindi natin gagalawin yung 1 half, you change the sign of this, magiging multiplication siya, and, and then ilalagay na natin yung reciprocal natin na 4 over 1. 
Okay? So, you keep this part. You change the sign. Nagiging, nagiging multiplication siya. And then, ikakapi na natin yung ni-reciprocal natin. Okay? And then, you um, after you get the, the result, syempre, sasagutan mo yan. And then, you simplify your answer. So, those are the steps na kailangan nating i-memorize. Rename the fraction if needed. Get the reciprocal of the of the divisor. Proceed to multiplication of fraction. And then, simplify your answer. Now, I'm going to give you examples. Okay, division of fractions. Simple fraction pa lang tayo. Division of simple fractions. So, dito... Hindi tayo magre-rename ng fraction class kasi simple fractions na yung ating mga given, 1 half divided by 1 fourth. So, yung first step natin kanina is kailangan natin um, kunin yung reciprocal ng divisor natin. At ito yung divisor natin. So, yung 1 half, hindi natin yan papakilaman. And then, kukunin mo yung reciprocal ng 1 fourth magiging 4 over 1. And then, papalitan mo yung Operation. Ang operation mo ay magiging multiplication na. Okay? Okay, nakita natin. We keep this one. Tandaan lang to. Keep, change, flip. Okay? Ikikip mo yan one half, one half pa rin. Yung um, change, yung division magiging multiplication. And then yung one fourth naging four over one. So when that happens, pwede na tayo ngayon mag-proceed sa... Multiplication of fraction. So, 1 times 4, that is 4. And 2 times 1, that is 2. Okay? Ganun lang siya kadali. But this is not the final answer yet. Kasi pwede pa natin tong isimplify. Okay? So, paano yun? Mag-iisip tayo ng number na kung saan pwede natin siyang i-divide. So, yung given na to, pwede pa natin siyang i-divide ng 2. So, 4 divided by 2, that is 2. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Ngayon, wala na tayo pwedeng i-divide sa number na to, but this is not the final answer yet. Kailangan pa natin siyang gawing um, simple fraction. But in this case, I, I mean, kailangan pa natin siyang gawing mixed fraction. But in this case, since improper fraction to at ang kanyang denominator ay 1, automatic ang magiging answer natin ay ang numerator, which is 2. Kasi when you divide... 2 sa 1, the answer is 2. Okay? So, hindi na natin siya kailangan i-divide. Pero kapag naka-encounter kayo na more than 1 ang kanyang divisor, doon tayo mag-de-divide. Uh, mag so, later, magkakaroon tayo ng example na ganun. Now, let's proceed to the division of fractions involving mixed numbers. So, ngayon, dito tayo nag-re-rename ng fraction. When we encounter mixed number sa ating given, tulad nito, this is a mixed number. So, ang una natin gagawin is rename the fraction. So, yung 4 ninths, hindi natin yan papakilaman. 4 ninths pa rin yan. And then, kukopihin lang natin yung divide. And then, i-rename na natin yung 7 and 1 third. So, paano yon 7 times 3, that is 21. Plus 1, that is 22. Ulitin ko ha. 3 times 7, that is 21. Plus 1, that is 22. And then, kokopyahin lang natin yung kanyang denominator. So, magiging 22 over 3. So, ngayon, na meron na tayong simple fraction, i-apply lang natin yung rule na ginawa natin kanina. So, we keep, ikikip natin yung 4 over 9. You change this into multiplication and then you get the reciprocal of this. Pagbabalik ta rin natin yan. So, magiging 3, 22. Pwede na tayo mag-multiply. 4 times 3, that is 12. And then, 9 times 22, that is 198. Meron pa ba tayong number na pwedeng i-divide sa 12 and 198? Yes. Fortunately, ang 12 and 9, 198 is divisible siya by 6. Kailangan nyo lang mag-try na mag-try. Okay? So, divisible siya by 6. So, 12 divided by 6, that is 2. And 198 divided by 6, that is 33. Okay? So, this is the simplified answer. So, therefore, 4 ninths divided by 7 and 1 thirds equals 2 over 33. Okay? Now, let's move on to the division of fractions 
with whole numbers. O, ayan. So, we are dealing with whole numbers naman ngayon. Dito, class, tulad ng nabanggit ko nung una, kapag nakakita kayo ng mga whole numbers, kailangan nating i-perform yung renaming of fraction. So, i-rename natin ngayon to. So, mag-start tayo dito sa example na to. This one, okay? So, mag-rename muna lang tayo. So, yung 5 magiging very good. Magiging 5 over 1. And then, kukopihin lang natin yung other parts. Ngayon, pareho ng simple fraction yung ating given. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, isupply lang natin yung rule. We keep our dividend. Keep, hindi natin siya papalitan. And then, we change the operation into multiplication and then reciprocal of one-third. So, magiging 3 over 1. So, dahil meron na tayo ngayong simple fraction dyan, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. 5 times 3, that is 15. 1 times 1, that is 1. Ano yung rule natin kapag ang denominator is 1? We simply copy the numerator kasi yan na yung final answer. Okay? Kasi 15 divided by 1, that is 15. Next, meron tayong given dito 1 half divided by 2. In this case, ikikip lang natin yung 1 half divided by 2. Gagawin natin simple fraction yung 2, so magiging 2 over 1. Okay? Now, mag-proceed na tayo sa multiplication by simply keeping our dividend, 1 half pa rin yan, and then yung division magiging multiplication, and then yung 2 over 1 magiging 1 half. Now, we can multiply this. 1 times 1, that is 1. And 2 times 2, that is 4. So, your final answer is 1 fourth. Kasi hindi na natin yung pwedeng isimplify. Kasi simplified fraction na yan. Now, let's move on to this one. Sometimes, you will encounter both. Na kailangan mo silang i-rename. Pwede kang maka-encounter ng both mixed fraction or whole number and mixed fraction. In this case, meron tayong whole number. And then, we also have mixed fraction. So, ang una lang natin gagawin dyan is very simple. I-rename natin sila both. So, yung 2 magiging 2 over 1. And then, yung 1 and 1 fourth. So, ang gagawin natin, 4 times 1, that is 5. Plus 1, that is 6. So, ang tatandaan lang natin, 4 times 1, that's 4. No. 4 times 4, that's 4 pala. Ulitin natin na. Sorry that. Sorry. Kamali ako do. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin dito is 4 times 1 equals 4 plus 1. That is 5. And then, ikakapi lang natin yung ating denominator na 4. There you go. And then, the next step natin is reciprocal. So, ito, ikikip lang natin yung ating dividend. Yung atin namang division ay magiging multiplication. And then, yung 5 fourths is magiging 4 fifths. Diba? Napakadali. And then, pwede na tayo mag-proceed into multiplication. 2 times 4, that's 8. And 1 times 5, that's 5. Ngayon, meron tayo dito, kung mapapansin nyo, yes, wala na tayong number na pwedeng i-divide dyan, pero improper fraction kasi siya. So, ang gagawin natin dito is, i-divide natin, ang magiging divisor natin is yung 5, ang magiging dividend natin is yung 8. So, paano yon? So, yung 5 yung nasa labas, yung 8 yung nasa loob. Ilan ang kasyang 5 sa 8? Isa lang. So, 1 times 5, that is 5. You subtract this, 8 minus 5, that's 3. So, ang final answer natin is, ang whole number natin, ang ating quotient, ang ating numerator ay ang 3 at ang 5 naman ang ating denominator. So, magiging ganito ang itsura niya. 1 and 3 fifths. Okay? So, yung ating quotient, ang ating whole number, this one, and then ang ating denominator, ay ang ating numerator ay ang ating remainder, at ang ating denominator naman ay ang 5. So, ang magiging form niya is 1 and 3 fifths. Lagi niyo tandaan yung sign na yun. 1 and 3 fifths. 1 and 3 fifths. So, parang in-invert lang natin siya. And that is your final answer. So, definitely class, if you know how to rename fraction, if you know how to simplify, if you know the concept of reciprocal, definitely you can perform division of fractions. Just always remember, yung mga steps natin na napaka-importante, rename the fraction if needed, 
get the reciprocal of the divisor, proceed to multiplication of fraction, and simplify your answer. I know you can do it. If you have any question, pwede nyo i-type dyan sa inyong um, comment box. And I will see you on our next lesson on divisibility for week 4. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.